guys, we're back and we're back to reality a bit, back in the garage to try and diagnose what's happened after Crail Raceway. So hopefully you pr might have seen the last video. We took it up. My car didn't perform well at all. Still ran 12s all day. It's still obviously quite good up there, but it was definitely down in power, sluggish, and it ended in a breakdown in Anstruther on the way home. I think it's going to be the fuel pump. It's literally here in front of me completely untouched and we're going to just go and diagnose uh, i've got the laptop here we'll work away from probably plugging it in checking that what's meant to be getting power is getting power and i'll work my way back to the fuel pump down check all the connections as i go this is also a hardwired pump from the battery i hope this is it guys i cannot face another expensive repair so come along uh, back in the garage for a change some people like this content so yeah let's go yep hopefully the lighting's okay here guys this is literally exactly as we left Crail. i've not stuck a key in it since then i'll do it just oh. no question about it i am ready to get hurt again I'll do it just now, sorry for the headphone users here. Just to show you what was happening, so if by some miracle it starts just now, this video will end right now and I'll be the happiest guy ever. Right, things have done their thing. Not starting now. I don't know whether I should be alarmed at all. Yeah, not getting any oil pressure, which is possibly a concern. I've took some panels off already. We'll get the laptop plugged in, uh, make sure there's voltage getting to where it needs to be, and I'm probably going to look at the fuel pump. Old school laptop here, guys. Pretty sure you won't see some of this spec in the tuners videos, but oh. So the good thing was, again, hopefully we can see under here okay or well enough. Everything is completely, or almost completely dry, which is definitely a good sign when your car isn't running. Still some camp pegs in here from Street Weekend. The Crail Times, I won't bother zooming in on them too much. Right guys, first checks for me, you can see the hard wire, this red wire that comes through straight from the battery, this is the main supply to the 450 fuel pump, I'm going to be checking that there's nothing obvious down here, hanging off, chopped, etc, just before I get a look at this, cause there are a few connections obviously going on, just as we head down the fuel pump which sits in here. Right guys, just to keep you right, so I've checked to this first relay here, you might not be able to see. We are getting 12.2 volts to that, which I think is probably okay for now. Definitely take a pump primed anyway, I'd say. Uh, there is a connection that actually feeds down to the back of the pump that maybe at the moment doesn't look the best, but taking that with a pinch of salt. Next thing is I'm going to check the actual connections down to the pump itself here because if I can prove in some way that we are in, or aren't getting voltage to here it would certainly help with the next move I would say right guys first alarm bell excuse a lot it's actually like old mud it's sticky and horrible it looks kind of rusty but it's actually not however at a first glance now this does not look that good so down in here, I don't know whether you guys can see, we have a very burnt connection and I'll show you this side, if you can see that is completely melted. I'm going to check that there's voltage getting to that but that is not a good sign. 
Right, I'll try and keep the light on as I'm going here guys, so you can hopefully see it. I'm just trying to prove now that to this na knackered plug we aren't getting 12 volts. Next port back would be from here. We'll check either side of this wee fuse up here. Hopefully in the next five minutes, if this is the case, I can do a wee bit of short, uh, short circuiting to reconnect, kind of bypass the protection almost and get some voltage to this supply, prove my pump's working and hopefully that means the car will start and I can worry about sorting this wiring in the, over the winter but bear with me guys, first port of call, check if I've got voltage. <laughs> Zero volts. Right, next next back. Right, so here we can see how we have kind of cut into the existing wiring. So the one used to obviously run down here, follow this track down and eventually into the pump through these two sockets. Hard wiring it, we've put in this kind of wee bit of uh, inline protection. So I'm gonna just short out really two sides of this to see if I can get a live supply to this plug. And if that works, I'm gonna try and fire the car. And yeah, hopefully proven Hope, again, what I'm hoping is right here. Uh, these are quite burnt both ends, so even at either side of the fuse within this wee relay box, you can see the outgoing contact here is actually quite burnt. This contact is burnt, and there's burning down here, which is all alarm bells, but just for a sanity check, I'm just going to try and wire this in uh, quickly just to try and fire the car. The car has been turned off guys before I go for this wee joint in case anyone's in any way concerned. Right guys, I'm embarrassed to be showing you this but here is my speed bypass in the last two minutes there. I'm going to plug this straight in I think and just try and fire the car guys. If this saves me even a hundred pound a pump, this is an absolute result and I can just focus on the rewire, so fingers crossed guys. Right guys. <laughs> Check this out, and just try and don't put it through the garage. You can probably still hear the pump priming away now that I've done a bit of bypassing, but guys, I'm delighted there. That was a quick 40 minutes in the garage. Got it started again, turned out to be nothing too crazy. Wish I'd known about that burning before I took it to the track the last time, but started absolutely sweetly there. It's not started that good in a while, to be honest. So I am delighted, guys. Hope you hope you like that wee video. Uh, good to get some repairs done live, I suppose. And yeah, next time we'll probably just uh, get on board with some uh, winter prep for next year I suppose. Thanks for watching guys.